Right, so um, we have set up and gotten our invitation link. We've set up the emails. Last thing we're going to look at is branding. Quite frankly, in the beginning, you will have very little branding going on. Um, but I just wanted to point out some of the things you'll want to start to move towards and assets you'll want to build. One of them is a banner header. Okay, so this is almost, if you have created a Facebook banner, um, this would be that. Okay, you could push this in here. The next is to upload a logo if you have had one built. Um, and then you can also uh, add a description. I just added that underneath. Here you can add a speaker, and so there you could pull up, put a picture of yourself, your name, a little bit about yourself, your company, and then it asks here for the bio. I just said, great to share my knowledge with you. Um, I haven't uploaded a picture yet because it only accepts like these tiny itty bitty pictures, and I just haven't created one yet. I have to shrink one down and and put it there. Probably the picture I have over here in the corner would work there as well. Um, and then here, this is just the color um, of, of the button at registration. So you just click on this and you can select from different colors. And I just have chosen pink. Or you can go here and make your own color. And then um, in my situation as well, you won't in the beginning because you won't maybe have the sophistication yet to embed a survey. But um, uh, after someone has completed the webinar, it's going to go straight to a survey. And I did that by toggling on here and, of course, using JotForm, which is one of my favorite tools, to uh, gather data from attendees after. So there's two types of data you can gather. One is um, how was that webinar or how was that training so that you can constantly be improving your program. The other is how are you doing? Uh, you know, you can combine them, but um, in my situation, I'm asking, you know, how are you doing? Are you keeping up to date? Are you working on it enough? You know, what are you finding out is going on? And that's going to help me to establish the pacing of the program to see if I need to uh, move things around or not. Um, so that is about it. Once you have done that, you are ready to deliver your program because you will notice from the prior step at when you set that up now because you set recurring it's going to create all of these uh, for you and automatically um, send them out when uh, send out the reminder emails when the time is right um, and then that will all be ready for you to start to move um, towards and uh, use it as the distribution method for your data to your uh, members of the program. And that's um, all you need to know for this section. So enjoy.